This week marks one year since 98 people died in the collapse of the Champlain Tower South Condo in Surfside. And since that devastating morning, one question has loomed very large. Why did it happen? Investigators locally and federally are working to try to answer that question and figure out how to use that information to prevent another tragedy. CBS 4's Ted Scouten explains how. When the Champlain Tower South collapsed a year ago, the investigation into what happened began almost immediately. Every single person on our team is driven by finding out what happened so that something like this never happens again. Judith Mitrani Reiser is the co lead federal investigator with the National Institutes of Standards and Technology, known as NIST. We have nearly two dozen hypotheses that we're looking at um, in earnest, all of them. We haven't thrown anything out. In a public update, co lead investigator Glenn Bell discussed a few of those theories. Some of the hypothesis related work that the geotechnical team is undertaking includes the magnitude and distribution of any settlements or other movements of the foundation, the impact of adjacent construction, especially that of the 87 Park building to the south, and any impact of climate change and tidal actions which may have caused buoyancy uplift on the foundation. NIST investigators say they're about to begin a critical phase, what's known as invasive testing of things like concrete and rebar taken from the site. Most of these tests involve um, taking cores out of those specimens um, so that we can crush them and get compressive strength of, of the concrete. We are also planning to do tensile um, stress tests on the steel bars, and we'll also need to cut those. They'll use the results of those tests to build 3D models. The materials testing gives us information of the conditions of those materials at the time of collapse. So you can update all of those computer based models with the conditions after 40 years of, a life, of the lifetime of this building, right? So then, then you can test different hypotheses. Obviously, you look at things like foundations. Are there any issues with the foundations? Are there any issues with the columns at different levels of the building? Are there any additions with the slabs and the girders and all that stuff? Engineer Alan Kilsheimer is investigating for the city of Surfside. He too will build 3D models for interactive testing. He, like NIST, is laser focused on finding out what brought that building down. The chances are that what we'll end up finding is it was several things. Each independently might not have caused the problem, but when they all were happening at the same time, that's what caused the problem. Don't expect conclusions anytime soon. According to NIST, they believe their investigation will go on at least through September of next year. In Surfside, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News at 7. And our coverage of life in the year since Surfside continues tomorrow on CBS 4 this morning. CBS 4's Nicole Lauren talks to the family of 92-year-old Hilda Noriega, who died in the collapse. She details the items they found at the collapse site that will be cherished forever. That's tomorrow on CBS 4 this morning, starting at 4.30 a.m. And then later this week, we invite you to join us for a two-part docu-series we call Surviving Surfside. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy has this two-night special event Wednesday and Thursday night at 7, only on CBS 4 News and CBS News Miami on CBSMiami.com.